Hi everyone, I am Chatlin, Solos Community Marketing Manager, and I welcome you to Solos Masterclass on how to find clients for your online business. So you're interested in starting your own solo business, or you've already started one. The problem of finding new customers is often cited as one of the main reasons new businesses don't take off or why people are even hesitating to start their own businesses in the first place. It is a very competitive space. In this video, we will go through the four main steps that have proven to be successful for other solopreneurs in finding their first client. Why would you listen to us, you might ask? Well, at Solo, we worked with thousands of solopreneurs from around the world for five years now. These following steps are based on the experience from our most successful customers over the years. So let's get to the first step. First step is personal branding. It might sound basic, but it cannot be stressed enough that you need to start with you. Who you are as a person and what is it that you actually want to achieve. If you don't have clarity on that, it's going to be difficult to figure out what is it that you want to deliver to the world. Your strengths and mission is what will make people want to buy into your idea. As a solopreneur, you are your brand. There are many others like you out there. As stated earlier, the competition is huge. What makes someone choose you is your personal brand that they can relate to and trust. Figure out what your skills are, what you are good at, and what your goals as a solopreneur are. Focus on what you know and try to see how you can solve people's problems this way. Second step, online presence. After you have figured out who you are, you can start building your online presence. This is the most important step in acquiring your first clients, as this is their first impression of you. Don't let competition discourage you. There are also many people out there who are looking for your services. You just need to make sure they can find you. You absolutely have to have a website. It is very easy to build a professional looking website nowadays. If you don't have web design skills, just find a platform that can help you with that. Your website has to showcase who you are and what your skills are. Share your know-how. Don't just tell them, show them what you can do and how you can solve their problems. Prove to them that you are an expert in your niche. You can do it whichever way feels most comfortable for you. You can share your portfolio and work done. You can write articles about your area of expertise or have downloadable content on your website for which people have to give you their email address. Whatever works best for you. Provide people value upfront when they reach you. When they visit your page, make sure they feel like you've helped them somehow or prove to them that you're the best choice. You also need to be present on social media in order to be able to drive people to your website. And this actually leads us to our next step. Third step, looking for clients. Once you know yourself and you have defined your brand, it should be easy for you to identify who your potential clients would be. This means you also know where to look for them. So let's talk about social media platforms here. If you know your client, you know what platforms they most actively use. Are you a business consultant? Build a strong resume on LinkedIn and post relevant content in your feed to stand out. If you're a film editor, find online groups for bloggers looking to expand their content media. Maybe you're a graphic designer. Find a Facebook or subreddit group for small business owners who need your services. Also, though it might seem that Facebook's popularity is in decline, many of our customers still cite Facebook groups as one of the most successful places to find clients from. A lot of these groups can have direct job offers, but what has proven to work best is being active in groups inside your niche. Answer questions, provide relevant content, all of this will make you stand out as an expert in your field to others. People can contact you directly about work or refer you to someone who is looking for your services. There are also marketplaces and job boards like Upwork, where you can navigate through thousands of job offers. There are many of them, some being devoted to specific fields and some hosting a mix of gigs. We have also a blog post about these marketplaces that you can check out later. There is only one problem with these job boards. There are so many people looking for jobs there, making it difficult to stand out. In order to be successful on those sites, you need to position yourself as an expert. This is again where your personal branding can help you out a lot. And we're off to the last step, networking. Please note that you cannot make it alone as a freelancer. Networking is an absolute must. Get to know people. Interacting on social media in relevant groups, subreddits, channels is a great way to start. Leave your mark. Not everyone will become your customer, but they might become your referrers. You never know where a new connection might lead you. Another thing that you can do is researching your most popular competitors. Get in touch with them, introduce yourself, and show that you are skilled and experienced. See if you can negotiate a deal where they recommend you to potential clients they cannot take themselves. After all, this would be a win-win situation for both of you. If applicable for your business, offer free consultations. 
This will enable you to meet people who are interested in your services. Also very important, attend networking events. Even if it's not currently possible to attend them in person, you can attend them online. You can start from Eventbrite to find events in your field of business or search for events on other social media platforms. Just to sum up what we have talked about, you need to start with you. As a solopreneur, you are your brand. Everyone starts from zero. It might seem scary to do everything we talked about, but if you take it step by step and keep on pushing ahead, it won't be that scary. Also, don't go into moonshots right away. Build a good base from what you can grow from and aim for the stars from there. By following these steps, we're sure that you are soon on your way to starting a business and sending your first invoice. And this is where Solo can help you. So check out our website, solo.io, and see how you can start your business today. Thank you guys for joining us and see you soon. Bye.